What's going on everybody and welcome to Stylish Grease Monkey. My name is Chris. I hope you're doing well. It's that time of the year, time of the year of giving, and it's Christmas. Well, probably, you know, give to somebody else, give to yourself, whatever have you. But if I did not have these five boots, this is the boots that I would probably put on my wish list for Christmas. So let me go over them, let me go over the cost, let me go over the make and what I think about them really quickly, hopefully within a decent amount of time. Here we go. We all have our wish list for Christmas, you know, I know Black Friday deals behind us, but and for me, any time of the year, I make goals on buying things for me to make myself feel better, of course. I think I've already gone through the best boots that I thought that I would own and uh, you know but like I said if I didn't have these pair of boots I would probably put this on my wish list because they're just badass right all right guys the first pair of boots that I want to talk about is this six inch heritage motto from Thorgood this is a full grain all tan leather and costs about two hundred thirty nine dollars nine ninety five cents from Amazon right now this bottom right here is the max wear wedge which is uh, non-slip you know uh, bottoms uh, and there is a fiberglass shank inside here for comfort it is obviously really good leather from Thorgood made in the USA the bad about this boots real quick for me is that it took me a little while to break it in so that's the only bad that I could think of is the break-in period all right guys the second pair of boots I want to talk about is this captain from Thursday boots in brandy Costs $199 from Amazon or directly from Thursday. Good things about these boots is that it has a uh, cork bed that makes it very comfortable when it's broken in. It also has a rubber sole for grip and made out of 100% full grain leather. The inside is also lined for comfort, which is awesome. The bad thing about these boots, in my opinion, is that it is so soft that the body is not as solid. It, tend to bulge right here in the back and also crease really bad here in the front otherwise this pair of boots lasted me for about eight years now and it's awesome hey guys real quick if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell I'm trying to reach 2,000 here by the end of 2021 we're really close guys so I'd love to I'd love to have your support in this channel the other pair of boots that I want to talk about is one of my favorite this eight inch boots right here from Thorgood in all tan leather. This is the model 8144201 and will cost you about $249 right now in Amazon. The good thing about these boots right here as you can see beautiful all tan leather. I love it. This color right here is perfect. As as well as any type of Thorgood boots this one right here has a steel toed for construction work and safety and of course has the Maxwear wedge in the bottom here for a non-slip. Now it is it has a good year welt and also a, a poron um, it has a poron insole for comfort removable removable poron insole for comfort very comfortable pair of boots no break in time honestly guys I don't have anything bad about this pair of boots because I've owned this for a while and it hasn't broken down on me it hasn't let me down. I guess I'm anticipating really that the Goodyear welts because it's made out of composite material that it could probably not a good way to um, replace the soles down the road because of that material. Otherwise I don't really have anything bad to say about this pair of boots. The next pair of boots that I want to talk about is from Red Wing. Also one of my favorite pair of boots and I did a comparison with Thorgood. This 6 inch Red Wing Briar Oil Slick Mato 8138. This is a shoe or a boot perfection. So all I have is good things to say about Red Wing. If I have a choice and if I have the money, then I will just buy Red Wing. The cost of this right now is $279.94 from Amazon. You can probably find it cheaper than that or a little bit more expensive somewhere else. But it's worth the money. Bad about Red Wing boots. Like any Red Wing boots I have is the break-in period. This is so hard to break in. It takes weeks for it to break in. Also, because there's so much room in the toes and the body of it that I've had to put an insole in here that's thicker than normal so that it will hug my feet. I love this pair of boots though. 
I can't find, like I said, I'm not gonna dwell over the bad, the negative, because the positive outweigh the negative on this pair of boots, 8138 from Red Wing. All right, guys, the last pair of boots that I wanna talk about is at the top of uh, my list, and I have it, I think it's the best pair of boots ever when it comes to heritage, is the Red Wing Iron Ranger 8085. This one right here is $344.74, from Amazon right now. What do I have to say about the Red Wing Iron Ranger? I have made multiple videos of this that has a lot of views from people that agree that this is one of the baddest freaking shoes you can ever buy uh, in planet Earth. Maybe that's an overstatement, but real quick, the, the toe box right here is really good, really nice, very comfortable in my opinion. It ages really well, very 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 nice for having to wear uh, when it comes to heritage clothing like I do I can literally wear this from Monday to Sunday guys in the yard riding my motorcycle going out to town whatever have you it just has this particular style that is just top-notch the bad stuff about these boots is same thing like any other Red Wing because they make it with such a thick piece of leather you know what I mean? This is a copper rough and tough. It took me about two weeks to about four weeks to break it in. But once you do break it in, this forms on your feet and is one of the most comfortable shoes I have. All right guys, that's five of the best pair of boots that I owned, that if I didn't own it, that I would definitely put it on my wish list this Christmas or this holiday season. Now, you don't have to wait for Christmas, obviously. You can do this any time of the year, buy it any time of the year. Buy something for yourself, guys. Just go ahead and take a plunge. You know, if it makes you feel good, then it makes you feel good. And these boots right here makes me feel confident and awesome. So, that's all I have. Aloha.